So I don't know about you, uh, Stu, but uh, I've been soaking in a bloodbath all weekend. Um, it's I, I can't tell you how many chickens I had to sacrifice to get the blood uh, enough for a bath for me. I mean, it's like a it's like a Taft bathtub, you know. Uh, <laughs> that is a very nerdy joke, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Any William Howard uh, Taft jokes you could break out in minute one lab- of a national oh, yeah. radio program? Uh, that's always the right way to go. I like it. Well, you know, Hall of Fame, yeah. Hall of Fame. <laughs> that's how you Did get you there. Did you hear how he expertly just tucked that Taft <laughs> joke in? Not a lot of opportunities for those. So anyway, um, uh, this weekend. Apparently, according to the mainstream media, and a lot of them, they said that Donald Trump was calling for a bloodbath if he didn't win. Listen, cut three. Cut to cut three. But as Politico.com reports tonight on the, quote, bloodbath at the RNC... Headlines calling it a, quote, bloodbath. A bloodbath. Not only is it going to be a bloodbath, but after they leave New Hampshire, it's a bloodbath on her home turf. That's really tough. Trump has left a lot of corpses in his wake. I mean, we can count the bodies as part of the, quote, MAGA drive to take over Maricopa County. And the headline refers to it as an impending bloodbath. Columnist Charles Blow has a new piece for The New York Times entitled A Biden Bloodbath. 2018 midterms, you can bet that they 100 percent are fearing a slaughter. In fact, the word bloodbath. Yeah. and massacre come up frequently. The Republican Party will be destroyed. It's going to be a bloodbath. There's going to be a yeah. bloodbath one way or the other. Bloodbath, bloodbath for Bernie Sanders. Oh it's been a bloodbath. Oh They're goodness. shaping up to be a bloodbath. Oh Head goodness. off a bloodbath in next year's crucial midterm. Oh. Off-year elections are often a bloodbath. This week's bloodbath for Whoa. Democrats. A bloodbath at I, the ballot box. There could be a Republican bloodbath. They'll talk about a bloodbath. It's a bloodbath. I have oh to talk my. about you. And Ellie, it's going to be a bloodbath all day long. Is in for a bloodbath. It hasn't been a bloodbath on the way down. With Donald Trump bloodbath be a bloodbath. Predicted to be a bloodbath. May not be the bloodbath. It would be a bloodbath. More of a bloodbath. It's going to be a bloodbath in November. Possible Biden bloodbath this November. A bloodbath on Wall Street. There's going to be a bloodbath in, in Alabama into a bloodbath. Obviously, there was a bloodbath. It was a bloodbath. We're down 800 points. This bloodbath at Department of Homeland Security. And it's a bloodbath today. There was going to be this bloodbath. Election bloodbath. It, it could be a bloodbath for them. Bloodbath, possibly. Bloodbath that went through with the attorney general. Hey, bloodbath. Stop. I, I got to get out of this tub. I got to get out of this tub. <laughs> There's just too much bloodbath. Now, this is the media. This is the media saying, using the word bloodbath. Now, when you say it's going to be a bloodbath, Stu, what does that usually mean? Usually that mean? it means something, uh, a blowout, a, um, a, a, a defeat blowout. of some sort, and a notable but what if you use margin. the words? What if you use the word, like Van Jones did, a slaughter and a bloodbath? It would also it's mean... It's going to be a slaughter... Mm-hmm. And a bloodbath. That's an interesting question. That does change things, um, but not much. Uh, uh, it's a, the, basically means, again, really? a blowout, a defeat by a large margin. Uh, everyone knows what it means, and everyone knew what it meant, meant until this weekend, apparently. <sighs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that's entirely true. The, the media, they heard Donald Trump, uh, and here's ABC, cut 10. Or, or cut to whichever one you can. And former President on. Trump's campaign now on the defensive after his fiery rhetoric at a rally in Dayton, Ohio on Saturday night. Trump warning while discussing the economy that there would be a, quote, bloodbath if he is not reelected in November. This after the former president kicked off the event by paying tribute to those who attacked the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. President Biden's campaign swiftly denouncing those comments as threats of political violence. Okay, stop for a second. Stop for a second. Stu, can you, can you take this? Can we take this, play this again? And I want to take it step by step because this sounds like something entirely different than what everyone in the media has said themselves over and over and over and over again, right, about a bloodbath. Let's take this apart because this sounds very dangerous and very different. Go ahead, play it from the beginning. 
And former President Trump's campaign now on the defensive after his fiery rhetoric at a rally in Dayton, Ohio on Saturday night. Trump warning while discussing the economy that there would be a, quote, bloodbath if he is not reelected in November. This. Stop. Holy cow. Holy cow, Stu. He's on the defensive now because he said something that maybe he shouldn't have said. So he's on defensive and his fiery rhetoric may, is, is saying here from the stage, Stu, that if he's not elected, there'll be a bloodbath. Wow. See, because it's if you're elected uh, in a bloodbath, that means that you would, of course, what? You'd, you'd slaughter them. You'd not literally, as we've learned from the media... But a bloodbath would be something that would you just you you you'd either win or lose at a great great uh, number. But if he's elected or if he's not elected, and then there's a bloodbath, that's right. That's different, Stu. Uh, it's really not. Uh, he's talking about, of course, the economic con- competition, specifically as it's related to China no, and automobiles. No, no, you're not. Shh, 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 shh. No, you're not. No, you don't understand. I don't. He's elected. If he's not elected, Mm -hmm. there will be a bloodbath. That's what she said. Now let's listen on. Okay. After the former president kicked off the event by paying tribute to those who attacked the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. President Biden's campaign. Holy, stop for a second. Holy cow. Now I think you see the connection. Oh. He said if he's not elected, there'll be a bloodbath. In the same speech where he opened up praising those crazy people from January 6th. Wow, now so I've been turned around. Si- yeah, that's this is right. dangerous rhetoric. He, mm-hmm. he was talking about the dangerous people of January 6th, and then somehow or another he went right into bloodbath. Right. If he's not elected. Well, you said right into. Right. Well, he went right into bloodbath. Is that well, there, there were three ellipses. There were three ellipses. And, you know, that's no big deal. So the, anyway, go not, ahead. Listen to the rest mm-hmm. of the report here. Swiftly denouncing those comments as threats of political violence. Hmm. Stop. There you go. There you go. Well, there wasn't. So five the president ellipses. immediately sprung in. No, no, it wasn't, Stu. It wasn't five ellipses. It was three. Uh, and, uh, and the president knows because the president immediately denounced those words as uh as as violent rhetoric okay so what more do you need from this story i mean i i don't know <laughs> maybe the context would it be too much to ask oh. to receive the context of the comments like what like maybe the well, line the okay, lines okay, preceding it. I mean, it's it, not going to change it's not going to change anything but here's cut 18 China now is building a couple of massive plants okay. where they're going to build the cars in Mexico mm-hmm. and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole, that's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. They're building massive factories. So wait a minute. I'm trying to figure this out. So China's building cars, and then he says he's going to put a tariff on if he's elected. If he's not elected, then somehow or another there'll be political violence everywhere, and his people will do a January 6th on the whole country. And then 
he says, and they're not going to sell those cars. You know, Joe Biden is right when he came out this weekend and said he's he's not fit to be president because he's not making any sense there, Stu. You know, what it, does the political violence have to do with China and the sell, the sales of cars? You know, it's interesting. That wouldn't make any sense at all if he were to just convert back and forth between those things without introducing the topic whatsoever. You'd think maybe, huh. and this is the way human speech works, is when you <laughs> introduce a topic and then uh-huh. comment after that topic without introducing a new topic, people generally think that the statements you've made relate to the previous topic that has been discussed. But when you delete... But that's not how human yeah, yeah. nice mustaches works. See, that's what you just did right there. I don't think is, is normal. I, I think you just said nice mustaches. So now I are you talking about... Right. That was just, see, that's strange. Normally, the way people do is they, okay. they string multiple sentences together on the same topic right. unless they specifically introduce a new topic. And if okay. you kind of well, go by seems, this, old school, seems... this old school analysis, Glenn, what you think is maybe hmm. he's talking about an economic bloodbath if yeah. China is allowed to import cars with the penalties that seems, not associated that he That would, seems mm-hmm. entirely Campbell Soup's in, uh, <laughs> in, inconceivable See, Again, to me. you did it. Campbell uh, Soup, I, it, that's not normal. What you're doing is not normal. Well, what, uh, all I know is mm-hmm. that's the way they teach it in journalism school. <laughs> <clears throat> now... In other news, when we come back, I'm going to tell you all about how the administration is putting together a cute little effort through USAID to uh, make sure that you aren't given false or misleading information. Because they say during this election, some people will try to give you mis or mal or disinformation. And they need to be there to protect you from that. Otherwise, it could be a bloodbath. And I'm soaking in one right now. Well, that and... Well, cream of chicken soup.